Welcome back to our video series on the Play Framework using Scala. We're getting close to finishing off the first implement, imp implementation of our task list. As we introduce other technologies, we're going to kind of rewrite this example. Uh, but we have pretty much our first version done. Uh, there's just basically two main features that are missing. And that's the ability to add new items and to remove them. Okay, and we're going to take, in this video, we're going to play with adding them, uh, try to get that in and then we'll deal with, with removing them. So how to add them? Well, the task list page looks like this right now. It has a login button at the bottom, says task list at the top, and it uses an unordered list of tasks. Now, we might change this format some, but somewhere in here, we need the ability for the user to type something in and then submit it. And so we really need a form and like with our logins over here, we're going to use posts. So our method will be post. The action will be, well, we don't really have this yet, but we could start typing it in at routes dot task list one dot add task. Okay. So we're basically saying we're going to have a, uh, a method called add task. We could come over here and we can go ahead and write it. Def, without caps lock, def add task. For the time being, I'll make that a to do. And we can go ahead and add it into our routes as well. This is a post. add task one controllers dot task list dot add task okay as before we're going to need the form field now remember this form field needed to have the uh, request header so we're going to need to add our request header to the arguments, the implicit arguments for this uh, for this template. Note that if you were to forget that, you'd get a nice error message telling you that it doesn't know about this, which and telling you that that it needs a a request header in order to to fill it out. I need an input of type text and I need a, uh, a submit button okay I'll just go ahead copy the submit button from here this needs a name so that we can refer to it in our map this is one of the things that I occasionally had students mess up recently is they forget to put names on these in which case they don't come into the map when you uh, do the as form URL encoded so let's see the name for this would be new task sounds like a, a reasonable name here okay so we have a form I think that's okay we'll be able to see it in just a minute uh, it will list after all of our tasks and right now this has a to-do. Uh, we could actually go ahead and refresh just to see if I mistyped things. Okay, excellent. Uh, we could log in with our one user and we could type something here. Okay, excellent. We went to a to-do. That's, that's exactly what we wanted to see from this point. So now what do we need to do? Well, if we can just fill out this part of the controller, uh, looks like things will be in good shape. So this needs to give back an action. As with our other posts, this is going to wind up doing a redirect. Also, it needs to parse out the body and get the values from it. We will need 
our implicit request. So we parse out the body, get our values. It's an option. Uh, I'll go ahead and say dot get or else. Uh, we just redirect back to the task list. Actually, we're going to wind up redirecting back to the task list. I know that I have a redirect to the task list right up here. So we can copy that code. We're going to redirect to the task list whether you know they have something or not. It's just a question of whether there is an additional task there. Okay, so if they if we have the map, then we can say that our task is equal to args dot get of uh, or we could instead of using get just directly index it we called it new task and remember it gives us back a sequence there actually if I go ahead and I paste this redirect here I believe this code will get happy uh, but it still doesn't do anything for us yet so we get the task off of the form and now we need to add it back into the model. Task list in memory model dot add task for our username and the task. Well, how do we get the username? Same way we did when displaying the task list. Let's see put that there now this is a this is a username option uh, you know there's a part of me I'm actually going to take this and put it on the outside here and we're gonna map it first username option dot map of username Now, in this case, I don't want the redirect to go to the login page because this implies that you tried to add a task when you weren't logged in. If you aren't logged in, basically anytime we don't have a username, we're going to redirect you back to the login page. You can tell that would be code that might happen over and over again on a large site. And for that reason, there are uh, ways in play of making it so that you write that code once and kind of compose actions that they will handle that. Okay, so we got our task, we add the task, and we redirect. And note that this doesn't display anything, it just sends us back to the task list, but because this new task has been added, it should pop up, assuming that our memory model actually has a working add task, which, mm, it doesn't. Okay, so that's probably the last thing we need to write for this video. Uh, Add task under a username, we have our tasks, it is a mutable map here. And so uh, we could do, so the challenge is I do not right now, so when I create a user, I add them in here uh, to the users map. I do not add anything to the tasks map. I could, uh, but I, it's, it's slightly more resilient if I make it so add task can handle the situation where that user is not there yet. Uh, so let's do tasks um, sub username equals. So I want to assign it. Now the short way to write this would be tasks sub username and we'll cons task onto the front of that. And that looks great unless they don't exist yet. Okay, in which case this is going to give us back uh, an error. It's gonna throw an exception because we tried to take something out when it wasn't there. But if we use get, we'll have an option and we can do a get or else on a nil. Okay, so if they have an entry, we get that entry. Otherwise, we'll get an empty list. Either way, we cons this task onto the front of it. Okay, let's see what this does. So if we refresh our page,
will log in here. And sure, submit. There we go. Okay, so we have the ability to add tasks. Now all we need to do is delete them. We'll come back and we'll work on that in the next video.